by that arrow. Um, so like the easiest to grasp point of sail is running, uh, otherwise known as dead downwind. And basically the wind is just pushing the boat downwind. There's not a whole lot going on there. Um, and the sail, as you can see, is all the way out. When we say all the way out, what that means is like you've let the sheets go and the wind just takes the sail out. Um, and if it were all the way in, it would be like that. So basically the point of this diagram is to illustrate where your sail should be trimmed, uh, like depending on what angle your boat is with respect to the wind. Um, so basically, as I said, running, your sail is going to be all the way out. Um, this, this next point of sail is called a broad reach. Um, and the general rule is about three quarters of the way out. Um, and then we have a beam reach. And so you want your sail like halfway out. Um, anything that's between a beam reach and running, that's called a reach. Basically, if you're anywhere between perpendicular and parallel to the wind, that's called reaching. Um, and then you get up here, uh, you, as you head up, you trim your sail and more. So the sail's coming in as the boat turns up. And then the final point of sail is close hauled. Uh, that's a pretty important point of sail in racing because when you're racing you have to go upwind and you want to go upwind as fast as possible. So when you're on close hauled, the sails are all the way in. They're not exactly in the center because they don't really do that, but they're pretty much as far in as you can get them. Um, and the reason that's like the last point of sail is because if you went any further into the wind, your sails would start to luff, and luffing is when they're flapping around. You're not moving forwards, you're probably moving backwards, actually. Uh, and it means that you're pointed too far into the wind.